Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on if, elif and else statements. So, so far we have seen the if and if and else statements. Now we'll add the elif statement. So this elif statement allows us to check for more than two conditions. So we can have we can have our code check for multiple conditions. So the flow for if elif and else statement goes like this. If we have some condition, if that condition is true, execute this. And then we have the elif statement. Elif and then execute this. So this will be, there will be another condition here. If let's say condition two, and then finally we have the else statement. So this is the flow for if elif and else statement. If the given condition is true, the statement underneath the if statement will be executed. Elif, if this condition is true, the statement under the elif statement will be executed or else so this is the final else else means if the above two conditions are not true execute this so this will be executed and we can have more than one elif statement we can add as many elif statements as we want we can have let's say condition three execute this so we can have multiple elif statements let's look at an example let's use the example that we created in the previous lecture so i'll copy this command c and paste it here let's say so we have our number variable here row input please enter your number and let's see if number is less than 20 we have print the statement now let's add an elif statement let's say elif number is greater than 20 we can say print number is greater than 20 and for any other condition the else statement will be executed so in this case let's run it so it says please enter your number let's say 23 in this case the statement will be executed number is greater than 20 enter test number is greater than 20 and this last statement will be executed regardless so I'll just comment it out let's run this again and enter another number let's say 20 so none of the statements are checking whether the number is 20 or not so the first if condition is if number is less than 20 and then we have elif number is greater than 20 and for any other condition execute number is not less than 20 in this case let's say number is not 20 so when we run the statement this last statement will be printed number is not 20 enter this number is not let's run it again 20 we get number is not 20 okay that's the else condition if all the above statements fail if all the if and elif statements fail the condition under 
the statement under the else condition will be printed. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have a variable called movie and let's set it to be equal to let's say departed. Then we'll use the if elif and else statements to see if the movie we enter is departed. We can say if movie is equal to departed if movie is equal to departed print that was a great movie we can have an elif statement elif if movie is equal to let's say toy story let's say print movie was toy story let's have another elif statement elif if movie is equal to let's say minions let's say print that movie was funny and let's have our else statement else print what was the movie so here we have a few conditions the first condition is if movie is departed says print that was a great movie Elif movie is equal to Toy Story, print movie was Toy Story. Elif movie is equal to Minions, so this part will be executed. And for any other condition, print the statement. So if we run this, the statement will be printed. That was a great movie. Let's run it. That was a great movie. What if we change this to some other movie, let's say Minions, and when we run this, this statement gets printed, that movie was funny. And if we set this to some other movie, let's say Star Wars, the last L statement will be printed since it's not equal to any of the conditions above. So if we run that, let's run it. Oh, we have our print statement inside the code. Okay. Print what, my, what was the movie. Let's run it again. Okay. So what was the movie? So this is an example of if, elif, and else statements. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we have a number. And then we'll use the row input function to so that the user can enter any number. Enter a number, please. Then we'll convert it into an integer. We'll cast it to an integer. Again, if you are using Python 3, use the input instead of row input function. And we can check if number is equal to 0. You can say print number is 0. And let's have a few elif statements elif number so this is num not num if number is greater than zero and 
number is less than let's say 20 you can say print number is between number is between 0 and 20 let's have one more if elif elif statement elif number is greater than 20 and if number is less than 45 you can say print number is between 20 and 45 and for any other condition the else statement will be executed then we can say print I don't know the number so you can have more than two elif statements you can have as many as you want so let's run this it says enter a number please let's enter zero so number is zero will be printed number is zero so we'll check each condition run it again enter a number please let's enter 12 oops let's enter 12 enter number is between 0 and 20 good let's run it again please enter a number let's say 28 so number is between 20 and 45 great and for any other condition that i don't know the number statement will be executed so any other condition let's say 20 run it it says i don't know the number great and one thing to notice here is that we are only checking if it's between 0 and 20. so you can also check equality for instance we can say elif number so let me copy this paste it here we can also check if number is between 0 and 20 and we can include this part so we can say and number is we can check if number is less than or equal to 20 so if we run this and then enter the 0 I mean 20 the statement will be printed number is between 0 and 20 so run it we get number is between 0 and 20 so I kept it simple you know but you can check those conditions also you can put it in your example you can put it here or you can include it here but make sure that it's not in both so make sure not to say number is less than or equal to 20 here and also you know number is greater than or equal to 20 here because that condition will be true in both of this elif statements so check that out and you can have various kinds of inputs like this okay and in the next lecture we'll look at nested if statements thank you everyone